that we sack this tired old bathroom in favour for one with French design and flair. We're even incorporating some clever storage ideas. Now the all important waterproofing and plumbing have been done and it wouldn't be a luxurious bathroom if we didn't have underfloor heating so we have that too. Now another level of luxury for me is today I have a Tyler. So while he's busy, I feel this bathroom needs a lot of accessorising. So I'm going to hit the shops. For our bathroom, I'm after that really ornate, luxurious, high-end look. And isn't it great that all of the latest trends are catered for here? Something like this might just fit the bill perfectly. Now, we definitely want a bath in our luxury bathroom, and there's quite a few to choose from. But if you really want something in particular and it's not on display, you can always head to special orders. So, Baxter, what I'm after is a freestanding bath. I'd like it black on the outside and white on the inside. So, do you have anything like that? I've seen something like that here in the catalogue. Let me find something for you. Ah. Something like that? That is perfect. Well, it's ordered and on its way. With the French style, it can be tempting to go a little on the fussy side, but with your tapware, keep your lines clean and sleek. That way, they'll be modern and on trend for years to come. Now, I've splashed out on the bath and fittings, so I'm saving with a bit of DIY on the vanity and mirror. I really love the idea of using a second-hand piece of furniture as a bathroom vanity. It gives the room so much character, somehow makes it look less clinical. This is a fantastic find. Even has the little rails on the side, perfect for a hand towel. Now, all I need to do is give it a very light sand, then a prime, then a paint. Another beautiful second-hand find we can work our magic on, this time with charcoal chalk paint. The charcoal chalk paint on this mirror looks so good, but I want to give it the golden touch, and that's easy to do using gold leaf. But what you do need to do is, first of all, go on with a coat of size or gold leaf glue. You can find it from art stores. It's not expensive. It's actually imitation gold leaf. And if you use a nice soft brush like this, you can just kind of push it into the little crevices. And because I've got that charcoal underneath, I don't want to lose it entirely. I'm going to keep some of those little areas just showing through, just to give a little hint of the colour underneath. You have to admit, this is a pretty decadent look. This mirror would look right at home in the Palace of Versailles. For this little space above the tiles, I'm painting in exactly the same white as I'm using for the ceiling. That way, it'll just blend in seamlessly and even everything out. For a new take on a classic marble floor, how about these gorgeous hex floor tiles? Solid marble, but just cut into this beautiful pattern. Where you have these drains, you need to have a little bit of a fall, and these are totally perfect for that. And don't they look gorgeous? I love them. The moment of truth. Will this fit? Ooh. Oh, it's snug as. Exposed track is all the go right now. It pretty much means you can turn any door into a barn door. Now, for the track itself, you can buy it from Bunnings, only $149. And doesn't this door look amazing? It even has its original glass handle. So beautiful. To top off the vanity, a beautiful thick piece of marble to time with the floor. I ended up with a heavy end, I see. <laughs> Fabulous, love it. It wouldn't be a complete French bathroom without a chandelier. These look absolutely fantastic. I couldn't resist hanging one above the bath though. So this one isn't actually connected to the mains. Being so close to the shower head, it just has all the look, but it's safe as well. Not only have we given this bathroom a shake-up, but we've nailed the mood. It really does have that day spa feel. Quietly elegant, or as the French would say, magnifique. 